Okay, YouTube, in this episode, we're going to be doing Megasquirt Plug and Play on Lumiana. Um, I picked up Megasquirt Plug and Play from 949 Racing. Great deal. It's actually cheaper than getting it from DIY Auto Tune, at least for me, for the shipping and everything. Um, so, yeah, I got Megasquirt. I got a GM IET to delete my math when I do go turbo. For now, I'm just going to run the stock math. Um, after that, we'll be good to go. So, we're going to show you how to do the Megasquirt plug and play on your car. And it's pretty easy. Um, just plugs and play, plug and plays. Um, and then we got some other stuff we got to do to it, but other than that, we should be set. So, just for simplifying things, uh, I'm going to be taking the seat out. I don't know if you have to, but might as well just to make some space. So, start off, 14 mil wrench, take the seats. Seat bolt. Seat bracket bolts out. Good time to clean up your interior while you're at it, because this interior is disgusting. So, Richard already has the seat removed and the carpet pulled back, so we just gotta unbolt the ECU from the frame. There's a few, there's I think three 10 millimeter bolts holding in, so I'm just gonna take those out. And these are going to be a bitch to get to because the fucking plastic is in the way. No, you don't have to take it all off. Yeah, that's from the vacuum one. Um, impact drivers are life. If you don't have one and you work on cars, I certainly recommend getting one. So once you have the ECU unbolted, you're just going to want to unplug all its connectors. Easier said than done. two connectors holding it in and then uh, we're not going to plug it in just yet because what we're going to do is in the mega squirt there's a built-in map sensor that you have to run a vacuum line from the mega squirt itself into the engine bay it tees off of the fuel pressure regulator and the back of the intake manifold so that this knows the manifold pressure so it could you know adjust fuel all that shit so we're going to run that vacuum line Bolt it in, set the timing, install the uh, wide band, and uh, should be good to go. Hopefully, the car still runs after this. Yeah, it's good. Alright, guys, so we have the vacuum line run through the firewall, and underneath the carpet right here, it runs in between the blower motor and the HVAC duct right back in there. You probably can't see it too well but it runs up there into the engine bay and then underneath the carpet here up to the ECU connections where the Megasquirt's going to be sitting and under, I mean in the engine bay Richard's over here attaching the vacuum line which comes out right down there he's uh, attaching a vacuum line to a T-fitting that taps into the vacuum line on the intake manifold right there that goes to the fuel pressure regulator. So I've got my vacuum line run up through the carpet. I've got Megasquirt connected. The bag is connected right now. I'm going to use a center, automatic center punch to punch some holes. I'm going to drill some holes to mount the, <coughs> mount the ECU. This carpet is really annoying. So once you get everything connected back in place, you can run your serial cable. I ran mine up into the center console. Um, connect that, connect your vacuum line. I put a zip tie on it just for peace of mind. Um, and then you're ready to go. So 
Okay. So. Okay. So after you hook up your Mega Squirt and you get everything set up, uh, you want to load a base map. Uh, you can look online for the base map. It also comes in with the installation info on this. The light's killing me. Um, so you load up your base map. You change your. You go to what was it? Ignition settings. Ignition options, change it to fixed timing with 10 degrees advance, and then you hit burn. And then once you're done with that, give it a second, you should be good to start your car. And the car starts up. Just like that, you install Meg Squirt. Then you want to go through and set your timing and verify everything's right. But this was just showing you how to install it, and there we go. Mike here. It is very, very late. Or should I say very early in the morning? We've been up all night working on the Legacy as well as Richard's Miata. We couldn't really film too much, so it's kind of just going to be a basic, pretty basic how to on how we did what we did do both of our cars and on Richard's Miata we got his Mega Square plug and play installed and we have the car running we have all the timing set up air fuel ratio gauge is set up and working properly all that's really left uh, engine management wise is the IAC which we're going to wire in when we do the water to air intercooler piping so here's what we got going on Richard's just putting his car back together, he's putting the intake back on over here. You can see down there, got the wideband O2 sensor wired in. It's uh, wiring right there, some extras. Uh, got his gauge cluster up here. AEM wideband and the glow shift boost gauge. This camera will focus. There we go. And this side of the car is still partially torn apart. Got the Mega Squirt sitting in this new resting place, all ready to go. The car is running great. We haven't taken it out for a test drive yet, but everything's looking on the up and up. So stay tuned for more on the loaded Miata build and whatever the hell else I decide to do to my legacy. Make it wink. Hey, there we go. Um, I've been running my car Mega Squirt for about two weeks now. I finally got it tuned comfortably enough where I can go ahead and drive it without having my computer sitting in my passenger seat. Um, Basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get a wide band and just do plenty of research before you even even think about putting a Mega Squirt in your car. Uh, I didn't do that. I just kind of bought it, threw it in, and hoped for the best. And I learned that the base map is just to get your car running. You got to do a lot of modifications to it, depending on your car. I mean, all cars are different, but that's what I learned. Um, but just do your research and have fun. Um.